with the same amount of implements and one thing or another. With the tractor, you could do more work than with the horses. Yes, there used to be Imperial Lumber Yard for years, and then the beaver was down on the other side of the street near the hotel there, and uh, bought Imperial out and moved up on in that other building. But that burnt 1947. When the fire was there, the lumber agent manager, he just went in and took his books out and locked the door. Beaver Lumber built again. True value, it was a boarding house. And from there on, all the buildings have been destroyed from uh, Shannon's Boarding House, as it was called. There was a store, Nugent had a store, later Corbett. Then there was a jewelry store, and uh, later it became Planito's Massey Dealer and Imperial Oil. Then the lumber yard, and then the garage. The cyclone in 46 came through here. I think there's only was one elevator that didn't have some damage done. You have pictures there that showed the cupola off the farthest east elevator. And uh, I think the west one was the driveway was completely taken off. I knew one of the agents was in the, the second Pool B it was. He happened to be in the elevator when the cyclone hit and he crunched down beside the engine in the, in the office <laughs> when the roof went off the, off the office building. <laughs> it came along just about supper time. Remember coming into supper. The storm was on and after supper I went put my cattle down in the pasture. I looked down and I could see some of the hotel. It was a heavy wind, but we didn't have the twister part. Came in from the southwest. Barn and Grinry's where Mead McSweeney's living now, and it was where the clinic is today. Five Grinry's, I think, and the barn was across the track. Another barn or two east barn went down and there was a cow in it. She came up through the cloth floor. <laughs> I used to have the telephone office here. I'd operated here for about 50 years. There was no dial phones then. It was all old ones that you had to crank. And we could always just we got so that they were here so long, the millers themselves, that they knew every phone and, and every ring, I think. You just had to phone up and say, oh, Mrs. Miller or Mr. Miller, get me, so-and-so. <laughs> yeah, until the dial came in, of course, it uh, had to be a central office, switchboard, as they called it. Dial came in, I would think, about 1964 or 5. At the time, there was at least four, maybe five, private lines. Waterworks went in early 60s. Pavement, I guess, went in, in the 70s. Sports days used to be quite a big event in the town. Have horse races, even they had a sports day for horse racing and they used to race with horse carts and saddle or bareback and then they usually had an agriculture fair for a number of years here they used to show different livestock and it's one of the things I, I did as a more or less as a kid show a calf at the fair you maybe made five dollars you really was rich. <laughs> Used to have quite a good band in those years. The very first rink was right next to a livery stable, just a 
board fence, <laughs> as you'd say. It wasn't covered. And later they had a, a curling rink on the east side of it and a parsh fence up for a skating rink before the 1911 rink was built. Curling was quite an active game here. Everybody was involved in curling, especially when they had the bonds field on. Everybody in the community pretty near was, was on the rink. Eddie Shore's father put quite a bit of money into that first drink, donated it to the town. Eddie used to get into the rink and put curling rocks on the skating ice. Then he would weave in and out and practice his hockey there. That's where he really learned it. Now this is a story I've always heard anyway. I can't say that I've seen it or anything like that, but I can remember talking about it, so I imagine it happened, all right. <laughs> yes, I've seen three rinks. That was built in 54, the two rinks. The curling rink is what's used for the museum now. Well, thanks a lot, Brock. Well, thank you for putting up with me. Oh, jeez. Anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether it's anything that you can use or not, but I don't mind kind of reminiscing a little bit. Mm.